All right, so here we have a Smart Engine Conversions starter kit and a recharge kit. We're gonna take a look at what's inside and what makes them similar and what makes them different. So we'll start with the starter kit. The main difference is gonna be the lab tools, the torque driver, and the retrieval tool that's in the starter kit. That's not in the recharge kit. The recharge kit really just has what's consumed out of the starter kit for each conversion. So we have those six um, consumable parts, the separable fastener, the tie base, the lab analog, and the prosthetic screw. And then we've got the spare parts that are included in every kit, and then the drill kit that's in every single kit. And we want you to use nice, sharp drills so that you don't have to worry about um, not being prepared. So let's take a look at the torque driver. And the retrieval tool. And the retrieval tool fits into a implant motor or even to a hand drill. And then that's just a, a Torx driver. So really, now this is everything that's in the recharge kit. Take those parts out and it's, it's essentially the same th thing. You can see the drill kits, the spare parts, and the six consumable parts. So let's go ahead and open up one of these and take a look at what is included and how it's assembled. So we've got on a lab analog, we've got the tie base. We've got six of these and we've got the tie base that's screwed down to the lab analog with a separable fastener. And then you've got the prosthetic screw there. So this torque driver is special because you can't overdrive the separable fastener and unintentionally uh, dislodge it from the threaded post that it's pressed onto. If you take a normal driver, you can keep driving it, keep driving it, keep driving it until it just pops right off. So now we've got the threaded post stuck, in this case, the lab analog, which we'll use the retrieval tool, which fits into, like I said, an uh, implant motor or a hand driver. But anyway, you can just back that right out. We could, we could back it all the way out. So that's what it'll be like at the time of the retrieval from the mouth. But we're gonna go ahead and just put this back and then pick up the separable fastener head by pressing it back on. So it's not the end of the world if it does happen. It was just inconvenient. So there you see it's really just a prosthetic screw that has two parts. And then here you see the final prosthetic screw that's included on the back side of that lab analog. We'll go ahead and put that back in place on the back side of that lab analog. And then here you see the tie base. It's 5.5 millimeters tall and it has two aggressive undercuts. So once that's been picked up in the denture and you're in the laboratory, we'll go ahead and use the included drills, the three drills to prepare the denture. So here you have the pilot drill and it's a 1.5 millimeter drill that goes through the bottom of the tie base. And then we've got a guided drill that follows the pilot drill from the occlusal surface down. And it's got a shoulder there that's gonna expand it to the size of the prosthetic screw. And you don't have to worry about it going in and damaging the tie base because it bottoms out on the top of that tie base. But then we've got this clearance drill that fits into the included pin vise in the starter kit, which is a really handy tool. That will go and fetch the plastic 
cap from the separable fastener and pulls it out and makes it so that the prosthetic screw can seat onto that tie base and fasten the denture to the multi-units. Here we have the spare parts that are included in every kit. You've got the, the four taller tie bases and then we've also got two separable fasteners. So you've got the one, two separable fasteners. Those are just spares in case something doesn't go quite right. And then the four tall tie bases. Let's go ahead and compare the tall tie base to the normal tie base. I prefer the normal tie bases, but the taller tie base is seven and a half millimeters. You can see there how it compares. The taller tie base is meant for situations where the tissue is just too flabby and covers the smaller tie base. But like I said, my preference is always to just uh, find a way to tie the tissue down and use the smaller tie base. It makes it so the denture or the prosthetic is stronger and it's not as hard to get there. So then you have the, the recharge kit that has all those exact same parts. Thank you.